Hello everyone. We're just about ready to start. So when you join, comment and be sure and share. And we've got some amazing cards to do tonight. So we are going to be working with some stamps from the holiday mini or the just said say the mini catalog. So Okay. Oh, I see somebody's already joined us. So again, tonight, remember that when you place your orders, go to www.lisastamps.com and use this host code, A-H-R-B-9-J-Z-D. I know it's kind of a weird one this time, but... So today is going to be wow cards. Everybody loves wow cards, so they're fancy folds, stuff like that. Now, to get the directions and everything, you have to place an order because then you will get a tutorial. And the tutorial will have all the measurements, directions, everything. So, and it's really easy because you only have to place a $35 order to get the tutorial. And the $35 order would, in, would get you, I am going to make three cards. So you're going to get two of each card. But if you have a $50 order... Then I'm going to actually, I'm doing something really special this week. I'm giving you two things. Now, these ones are actually back orders, so you can get those. So um, these are kind of a limited supply. So you would get both of these for a $50 order. And you have until Friday, November 17th. Have my date right this week. Last week, it was kind of funny because I did write the date down on a post-it note with the right one, but it was sitting back on my desk. Didn't see it. The old one was still on my desk, and so picked the wrong one. Okay, so for tonight, we're going to be out of the mini catalog. We actually are going to use one out of the big catalog. But we're going to be using the Night Divine um, dies. I should say there are the dies. And they are $27. So this one is really kind of an easy one there's no stamping in this card so it's kind of neat but then we are also using another now remember too, anything that has a cutout a die that needs to be cut out I will do that all for you this week because there's it's no featured bundle it is just any bundles that are doing the wow cards so so I'm also going to be using the stylish shapes. If you have stamped with me, you know I love this one. I love that it has the texture around the outside. And so this is a really, it's like a must have one. Okay, so let's get going. And when you join, just, hi Sharon. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will be checking my comments here so I keep up to date on everything okay so I told you we're using the night divine and I'm actually I've cut this die this is the only piece that you need cut out and like I said this one will be cut out for you okay so this is on the stylish shapes so I did one in black and then this is the designer paper love this designer paper so pretty so first of all I'm just going to take some dimensionals and we'll put them on the back. I'm going to grab my take pick tool and pull them off really quick and easy. And just going to put that on there as so. Now, for this piece, Just going to take a little bit of adhesive and put that right on there as so. Okay, so we've got that done. So now for all of our other little pieces, and like I said, everything when you get your kits will be... Um, they will be scored, and you will have the directions how to do it. So I've got two pieces here that are 
textured and that was is with my distressed one now that is the one that is out of the holiday catalog it's this one I don't know if you can see that it's a really fun one I use that one a lot so we're just going to and the one thing though you want oh I had did have them the right way so it's what way you want them so we're just going to put them right right there with the texture side up or down you can either or it really it does not matter okay so for this piece I have it has little pieces on it and I'm going to just take and put adhesive on the end of those little tabs Okay, so I'm going to lay that across the front of my card and just going to wrap them around there as so. So then we've got some that are just plain. Got three of them. And so we're just going to start to put some of those on. And this is just going to fit right over where I did that little tab. So it kind of hides that tab in there. If any questions, be sure and let me know. Okay. So then this one, I'm going to turn it over. And the one extra one... It's going to be where you could sign it. You can put your um, sentiment in there. So like that. Okay, so this has two pieces here that are also um, die, or die, scored. So I'm going to take some dimensionals again. And we're just going to put those three, getting to the end here. Come back with my, take my pick tool again. Whoop, and I pulled that right off. Didn't have that pushed down well enough. And so we're going to take this piece, take it there, and center it, and push that down. So it pops up like that. Because it has our little score marks, but in all, it will actually stand like that. So it's kind of a floating one. So when they open the card, there is where you can put the sentiment, but also they can have a card to stand like that. So it'd be really pretty just to be on display, too. So that is card one. Anybody just let me know when you join. But that's a real, like I said, I don't know which one of the cards that I'm making tonight is my favorite because they're, they're all kind of unique. Okay, so we've got that. So now for my next card, we are going to be using out of the mini catalog. And it's actually kind of a bundle that I'm using. This Magical Meadow, and I'm actually using some of the stamps, and I'm using some of the dies. Now, anything that is stamped will not be stamped for you. I cannot send anything that's stamped, but just everything that, if, any die cuts that I have, I will send those. Okay, and we're using Blueberry Bushel. And let me get to my paper here. Kind of get some of my stuff together. This one has a lot of little pieces. So to get a little bit of stuff out of the way here. So first of all, with this little white cardstock piece, we're just going to stamp 
Hopefully I get it square there. I can't see it because it leaves a shadow for me. That's pretty good. So we've got that one. So we've got that done. And we've got two pieces here that are the exact same size. And so I've got two other sentiments from that set. And just going to stamp that one. Now this one, when I stamp this, I don't, I don't want this over too far on the right side. Maybe go a little bit more towards the left. Okay. That stamp pad of mine is really juicy. Okay, so for this one, we are going to just take, isn't this a pretty blue? Take and fold this right in half using our bone folder to get a nice crisp crease. Then we're going to bring this one back. Okay, so we've got that. Now I have a piece here that is already textured and yours will be textured in your packet. Now, just to remind everybody, too, that if you do place an order, um, your order will come directly from Stampin' Up! But the card kit will be coming directly from me. And I usually mail those out on Tuesdays. And so, those will be going out. Actually, they might be going out tomorrow. Okay, so I'm taking and folding this long piece right in half. And so, oh, that one. Yeah, so this one we're going to put in the inside. So on Tuesday, Monday, I'm sorry, Monday, your packets are going to be going out. So they're going to be going out a day early because normally they go out on Tuesdays. Just have a lot going on this weekend and I am done. So we're going to get those out too early. And so we close this, and we're going to put that right in the center and there. Okay, so we've got that done. Like I said, a kind of a lot of... Hi, Judy, from Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay, so we have another couple pieces we're going to layer. Like I said, this one's got a lot of little pieces, but we'll just get some of these put together, and then it's just going to come together so nicely. Now, this is that designer paper, also in that suite. It's in the suite, but um, you can also just get it separately if you just want the paper. You will get the paper in your kit. Now, I am putting that on the very front here, so right there. Okay, so let's start putting some of this together now. So you can kind of see where this is all going. Okay, so I've got my card here. I'm going to put that right in the center. So we've got that there. Now with this piece, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put adhesive along just one side. So I'm going to put that there, but I'm going to line that up so it's about right in the center, equal spacing all the way around, plus you can't see that writing. So that's why I kind of said put that over a little bit, just in case. And so we're going to put that right like that. Just going to grab my mat. And these are all of the little dies. I've got three of them here. I've actually got four, but this one is for something else. And I'm going to put just a little bit of, we got that oxidized paper too. We did something with that one. 
So I'm going to just take my dauber and I'm not putting it all the way on all over because some of the top part doesn't actually touch anything. Look like a little bit too much on there. Okay, so we've got that on there. And if you want some of these little ones, you can, but don't put it towards the end because it kind of will float there a little bit. And then we're going to put the blue one. We'll get some on that. So remember, when we get done, I'm going to ask you what one you like best. So, and... Also, just to remind everybody, there is an awesome sale that is starting Wednesday, or Wednesday, Tuesday. So don't miss that. I will have some information on my site. Um, if you are on my mailing list, my email list, I will be emailing that out. Actually, tonight that will go out. And so we're just going to put that one right on top there. Oh, you know what? I wanted to put a little bit more on here. I get talking and I forgot to do that. Doesn't take too much. This glue is pretty awesome. I love using a dauber. It just makes it so easy to put your glue on your papers. Okay. And if anybody's ever been to my house, I always just have a block of wood. My glue just sits in there and my dauber's just right on the corner there. So it's always ready. Okay, so I've got that. Now we're going to come back with our little tag here. Again, using some dimensionals. Who loves, okay, now you guys got to answer me. Who loves wow cards? Let's see if we can get all kinds of answers. Me, me, yes, anything. So then this one, oops, if I get it the right way. So this we're just going to put right over top. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to do something kind of a little bit different. We're going to go to our dimensionals. And, you know, we have all these little pieces on the sides. You know, sometimes we, well, I shouldn't say sometimes. We do use them. But I am going to take and snip that. And I'm just going to grab it with my, take my pick tool. So now we have this little greeting here, sentiment in here. We're going to take and we're going to put this so it's just right on the side of the card. Okay, like that. We're going to take that off and we're going to come back with... Okay, we're going to shut that first. So what this gets to be... It's like a hidden message. Really cute. And so like I said, it's... What do you think of that? Sure do. <laughs> Hi, Velma. Me, love wall cards. Yep, Judy, I love wall cards. I have a big book in my stamp room, and actually I had some of my my group that was over this weekend because we had a, a stamping um, kind of day, a special stamping up thing going on, and they come over, and one of my, um, one of the girls said, okay, can I just take this home? It's a pretty cool book, so, and it's got a ton of, well, let's see if I can grab it. It's like busting at the seams. It's like way full. So, 
and it's a eight and a half by eleven book. So, okay. So for this one again, these are already scored for you. So, so I'm gonna just bring this one in and this one in. Oops, what did I get on that? That'll all be covered up though, so no worries. Okay, so for this one, just let me get all of my pieces here together. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot to tell you guys something. So for this one, what we're going to be using. So we're back to the mini catalog. And we're going to be using the Mirius trees. This is such an awesome dies what it gives the layers and so we're going to have some fun with that and then we're going to use well the noel that you kind of see sitting there and that is on page 30 and that is just some dies so and this was a set so for any of you that got this last week um you'll be this is one of the things that you already have this so you can make more of these Okay. Okay, so we've got that. We've got some little circles here, and these will all be punched out for you. And I'm just taking, again, going to prep some of my stuff to kind of get as much out of the way as I can. I'm going to just fold all of those in half. Oh, let's see. I was looking to see if anybody commented. We had a few of you that did. I like the fancy folds and the different fun twists and turns that they do. And Okay, so I've got those four done. Oh, and let me get my... Take my pick tool and get these little pieces out of here. Must have missed those. So here are those Marius trees. So we've got those. Okay, so the first piece that we're going to start on is our bigger, this is shaded spruce. And I have this already textured, and this will be textured for you. And we're just going to just going to put that right on there. And we'll kind of get this decorated up first. Okay, we've got that. Come back here with our silicone mat. If Kathy's on, she will say, I love my silicone mat. She always tells me that. Whoops. Okay, so we've got some of that. Just going to put that up there as so. And just going to put that one down there. So then we're going to come, and these are cut out of the, the gold. So really, oh, I got, you can tell I've got glue and everything stuck to my fingers there. Okay, so now we're just going to glue these on, or I should say tape these on. This glue is really, really sticky. That's what I love about it. So I'm just going to start with the end, first of all. Okay. Then I'm going to go with the L. 
I always like to start with the first and last one just because then I can kind of piece the middle ones in. Put this right down in the corner. So I kind of just let one kind of sit there. there and then we're going to get our E on. So now remember, be sure and tell me what card you like best as we get to the end unless you're like dead set you already have one. Anybody already have a card that they're like okay that is my favorite. You're not going to be able to beat that one Oh, hi, Kim. Okay, so we have this piece. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come back to our card here. And our card has a fold right in the center. Okay. I don't know what I laid my card in, but okay. Okay, so we're going to first of all just come and put a little bit of adhesive on our squares, our squares, our circles. I do know what size, what color, or what shape they are. Okay, so we've got that folded. We're going to come and put this right along the score, not on the score, just a little bit off, and we'll put that down. Now we're going to come and going to go, now you want to kind of look where that one is, but again, going to do the same thing. You don't want to be on the score, mm -hmm. but you want to, okay, so we have that. So then, just going to put some adhesive on this. Whoop. Okay. We're going to take this one that we decorated up and put it right in the middle of the card and press it down. Okay, so it kind of pops up. Is that cool? Okay, so now we're going to, so I have one card that is textured and one that's not. And so these are all the same size here. I think my adhesive is getting to the end. So we're just going to put that on there. And we're going to do the same with the textured one. We're going to take one of our circles again. Now remember to, you say, oh, I can't do this. I'll never remember how to do it. You are going to get the tutorial. You have this video to go back to, so it is not going to be hard. So we're going to take this, and we're going to turn that flap in there, put that one right there again, just kind of not directly on it but pretty close there and put adhesive on there. Whoop. Yeah, I know my adhesive has to be getting to the end. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to kind of hold this down, but we're going to lay this so that it's kind of um, right again spaced evenly. And going to put that down. So again, that one is going to be on there. Okay, so we have that. So now we have this textured one. And we're going to do a little bit of um, designing it first. Getting that all done. So now I have this um, textured with the fern. So we have these three. 
And so first of all, I'm going to put the bigger one. Gonna lay that right up on the top. And there. So now I have the smaller one. And we're gonna put that right up on top. So isn't that like a cool tree? Then I'm gonna just turn that over. I'm gonna to to put a dimensional right there in the middle. I have a little piece of um, early espresso, and we're just gonna put that on. Whoop, let's do a little bit longer. There we go. So we've got that on there. Now we're gonna put a few more. Sorry, I haven't been checking the comments. I just get so engrossed with these fun wow ones that, oh, I guess I didn't get any, so. Okay, so now we're gonna just take all these off. And with this piece of paper, we're just gonna put, my trunk looks a little crooked there, but that that's okay. We're gonna just put him right there. Then I have my gold ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow. This ribbon is so amazing to tie. Now, yesterday, like I said, I had an event for any of my group that could come. Some of them were on Zoom, but they come to my house and we did a fun event online. And they got to see the new catalogs, the celebration one and the next mini. And it was like, I, I had to sit back and laugh because um, the oohs and ahs and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh look at that, you know. So there was a lot of that. Okay, so we've got that one all decorated up. Isn't that cute? So now we're going to come back with this circle and we're going to put some adhesive on that. And we're again going to put that one right at the edge there. I'm going to put some adhesive on there. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to go here. I am going to bring this one again, kind of hold that down. I'm going to put that right over top of that. Line it right up exact and push it down. So when you look at that, it only looks like one piece. So now I have a couple pieces of textured paper here. Again, this is the fern one. And Oh, I should grab a different one. That one is just being... As I say that, I can see my other one's just about out too. Isn't that the way it goes? You can see that they're getting empty and just like I just did, I just threw it in the door. And so the next time I come to use it, I'll be like, okay, it's bowed out again. Okay, so for this here, I am just taking this and kind of right in the middle, it is the same exact, well, it is a little bit longer. I may have to trim it. Yep, it is a little bit longer. Okay, so I've got that on there like that. I'm going to come to the other side and do the same. Kind of in the middle. Go spacing. That one's long too. So, for this one, when you look at your card, looks like just one piece. You come forward, go out, and they pop. So, if your card were to sit up, it actually 
could sit like that. So if you were looking at it, it would be like that. So now you guys got to vote. Card one with the Night Divine. Card two with the Magical Meadow. Or card three with the Merriest Trees. <laughs> They're popping all over. <laughs> That's funny. One, two, or three. So now remember, just why I'm getting waiting for you guys to say which one. Barb, thank you. Sharing you and Bo's. Yeah, I know. I mean, I have a customer. Um, she's not with us anymore, but every time she, I would give her a ribbon, she literally would throw it at me and says, tie this. <laughs> so, and it got to be a joke between her and I. I'd be like, okay, you're going to throw the bow at me or the ribbon at me. So, like, remember, you have until Friday, November 17th to place your order. If you have a $35 order, you are going to get the supplies to make two of each of these. So you're going to get a total of six cards. You have a $50 order. And I'm going to throw in, this week is actually special. I'm thinking, what's like Thanksgiving? Thanks. Thank you for supporting me. I'm going to throw in two of these. So you're going to get two packs of sequins. This one, actually, you can't get right now. And so then on the following Tuesday, I will mail out your packet. We'll, we'll have all this in. Then the tutorials be emailed out to you. The tutorials will have all of the dimensions of everything, have all of the papers that we use. It actually will have the item number. So if you go like, I want this blue paper. You, you just said blue paper. Well, what blue paper is it? It actually will have the description, the names of it, and it will have the item number. So at any time you ever want to place an order, you just go to that tutorial sheet and it will tell you exactly. So it's going to tell you everything you need. So all of the ribbon will have the item codes, papers, anything, everything. And all of the dimensionals, dimensions will be there for you. So, and remember to comment. Please share my videos too. And... Um, but like I said, on Tuesday, there is a special coming out. There's going to be, I can't, I can't tell you the percentage, but like stamp pads are going to be a percent off and papers and, and stuff. There's a lot of things. It's all in stuff in the annual catalog. It's not in the, the mini catalog right now. So that is something that is going to happen on Tuesday. So you have that. <laughs> Belma, I wish I could do bows as fast as you. Do you know how many bows I have tied, though? <laughs> uh, you like number three. You like this one, Sharon? And Debbie likes one. Judy likes two. That's all I'm seeing in my comments right now. So, oh my gosh. Just think of all the... Do you remember that little bow maker I had? I was going to show you, but I don't... Oh, it's sitting right here. Remember this handy-dandy little bow maker? Tanner used to make these for $5. Oh, my gosh. Everybody had one. And he was just a little tight at that. And so he would always be so excited when I got done um, with my classes. And I would go upstairs. I mean, did you sell? And so I'd hand him the $5 from all of them. And so then he was all excited. Can we go to town tomorrow to get more supplies? So that was always kind of a fun thing. So, well, I hope everybody liked the wild cards tonight. Oh, yes, you remember? Yeah, everybody had those. It was, I actually sold mine. And I, um, I was looking through some old um, bins that I had here. I had, it was actually, I had one in there, a part of one. So, but remember to get your orders in by Friday. The 17th so you can get that now like I said if you had last week's kit I usually mail them out on Tuesday I will mail them out tomorrow so you will get your kits early the tutorials I will email out on Tuesday so so but I want to thank everybody for joining um, remember to 
that when you place an order with me, if you've placed an order within the last six months, when the new catalogs come out, I will be mailing you one. So if you haven't had an order for quite some time, get your orders in so that, you know, then you're going to get those free catalogs mailed to you too. So like I said, this time is going to be the next mini and it's going to be celebration. And like I said, I just seen them yesterday and there's a lot of really awesome things. A lot of neat. Oh my gosh. There is like a, a leather kind of ribbon type of thing. It is awesome looking and it looks amazing to tie. So excited about that. Some neat new dyes and punches and yeah, <laughs> I could just go on and on and on. Oh, Judy, thank you for sharing it. Hi, Kathy. You like those? You love, you love wow cards. I mean, aren't they just, they're fun. You know how they stand up. And like I said, this one right here, only it looks like it's one thing, but it kind of pops open, open, and then it pops up. So it's, they're neat. But, and then this one, hidden message. You know, the thing is, if you give it to somebody, you know, if you want to just keep it open a little bit first so they can see that it is a hidden message in there. You could do it if you were doing a, a kid's birthday card. You could do that and then put the money in there. So it's like, hmm, I got a card, but I didn't get anything. And then they open it and there's some money. So, but yes, so these are the cards for this week, your wow cards. Anybody has any questions? Two, three, one. That's what Kathy likes. <laughs> okay, if there's no question, I don't see anything else. But thank you again, everybody, for joining. Remember, go to mylisastamps.com. I will be putting out um, an email here in just a little bit about that special that is starting on Tuesday. So anybody that wants to get in it, I will share it here on Facebook too. So if you are not part of my emailing list, if you want to join, I will actually, I can put that link out there too. So if anybody can get in that, can join. Um, with my email list I have on Fridays, I now share a tutorial. So you'll see the card, you'll get the directions, all of the supplies need needed. So kind of fun. Going to be starting some other new fun things to get more card kits for you so you can send get more of those um, at home too so kind of some neat things going on but thank you again everybody for joining me tonight hopefully you like the cards i love doing fun folds so they're always kind of unique and everybody always loves when they open a card it's like wow look at this you know so and they're not they're not really hard they were they're actually pretty easy so but thank you everybody for joining me you have a great week i guess um wherever you are but here is supposed to actually be nice and warm so i keep telling my husband we have to get the christmas decorations up the lights on our house so that is done so but everybody have a wonderful week and if you have any questions please message me and watch for that email um that will be coming out today and like i said then i also will be posting it here on facebook so you'll be able to see that too that special that is starting on tuesday so some some great things so then you want to make your list so that you can get your orders in right away and sure be sure and go to the lisasamps.com use this host code so then you can get some of those deals but then by using that host code you're going to get these cards if you don't use a host code I won't send you the cards because um, that kind of prompts me that when I see that host code, I know that that goes along for this one on the dates. So, but everybody have a great week and we will see you again next week. Bye-bye.